currently here at the University of Kentucky, we are uh, evaluating or investigating the possibility of using UAVs or drones to monitor the cattle, to monitor the health of cattle. So when I say health, we are looking at changes in daily weight gains. We are looking at the potential of identifying individual cows in pasture. And the reason why we are doing this is because diseases re related to uh, related to cattle health have related to cattle have resulted in enormous number of cattle deaths yearly. And so by using UAVs, we can be able to contribute to reducing cattle deaths that are caused by diseases through early disease detection. And also keeping the farmer or the producer, uh, keep making the, fa the producer understand or know what is happening to his or her head at any point in time. Because if you know the daily weight gains of your cows, then you know whether they are doing well or they are not. And also using uh, unmanned area vehicles, we can also study the gait or the movement of cattle, and we can detect lameness or other uh, behavioral changes in cattle, and that can help us detect if uh, the heads are doing well or not. So that is the part that we are looking at. But my emphasis is examining or investigating how the beef cattle or the cows that we are studying respond to UAVs. We cannot just unleash UAVs into cattle environment without understanding how they respond. Uh, does UAVs induce a lot of fear? Uh, do cattle flight or fight when they are exposed to UAVs? Cattle are sensitive for they react to novel objects. I didn't grow up around cattle, so that's the first thing. I, I'm originally from Ghana, uh, where I spent majority of my life until I came here in the year 2016. Um, when I came here, uh, what drew me to studying our cultural engineering was a desire to make a difference in the life of the people that uh, that I grew up with and in the environment that I grew up in. Uh, agriculture in Ghana is still very rudimentary. Uh, it's hands-on, people go to the field, less tractorization. So the drive to improve and add some level of precision to agriculture is what drew me to this type of uh, studies. I, I don't think uh, the technologies that we are developing here are too early for Ghana, but I think that we have to allow our culture in Africa to grow through a process where the, pro, the, the whatever we develop is sustainable and is going to outlive whatever uh, implementation or policies that are in the current environment. One thing I like here about the University of Kentucky and in my department is the ability to work with uh, world-class uh, faculty and staff, uh, people who really know what they are doing. And not just that, but a great level of collaboration in the department is phenomenal. I, the research that I do is not just in the department. It, it includes a professor from mechanical engineering, computer science, and all these uh, parts of the research does not compartmentalize my thinking. It makes me think beyond my environment. It makes me see uh, the possibilities that that, that are beyond just our cultural engineering, but also the idea of working with people who come with different and diverse uh, proficiencies that can help uh, accelerate the agenda of feeding the global, the global population in a very sustainable approach. So that's something that I really like about a department. <laughs>